We've talked to thousands of UltraB customers and the number one topic that keeps coming up is suspension upgrades. And if we've ever given you the wink, wink, nod, nod, there's something great coming. Today is a day you've been waiting for. What a fantastic video from Cirrus. The quality alone in that video just illustrates the DNA of this company and the background of the people who started it. So you probably noticed the dust moto in that video, but today we're here to talk about the Ultra B. So up until this point, Ultra B owners have been limited to a few options in suspension upgrades. You can tune your OEM fork, you can do a KTM 85 fork from WP, and you can install the EXT Rea rear shock, and that's about it. Now, most people don't realize how difficult and expensive it is to put an 85cc front end on their Ultra B. A few notable builds that you've seen of ours have been the bike that we've raced in a GP series, Zay Solis's bike, where we took the 85 front end off of his Light B and put it on our Ultra B, and then Whistling Diesel's build most recently. And the cost is kind of crazy when we put all that together. Yeah, it's why you've only seen it on very high-end builds, because that's a high-budget build. Part of the reason it's so expensive to put a KTM fork on the Ultra B is you need the entire front end. It's the triples, the fork, the brake system. You need a 21-inch wheel to fit that, which is a custom-built wheel, because there's no 21-inch wheel on the market that fits that fork. So by the time you're done, you're talking three to $4,000 to put that KTM fork on the front of an Ultra B. And on top of that, there's a lot of limitations. You've got to upgrade to an aftermarket controller because there's no mounting brackets on the triples for your OEM components, including your headlight, so you lose all of that. And another thing that I know you've noticed is when we're trail riding with the KTM forks, you have a very limited turning radius and that's detrimental in technical slow speed, especially like a TKO race. You need that turning radius to keep your balance. So a lot of drawbacks to that solution. Yeah, without a custom built triple up front, it just doesn't quite work as well as we wanted it to. So that was then, but this is now. Cirrus has taken all the things that we've struggled with and that fork is built to bolt right onto an Ultra B. Use your OEM front wheel, brakes, and all the controls will swap right over to this new fork. If you follow our YouTube videos, you've seen a lot of Ultra B content over the past year and a half or so. And it's because we absolutely love this platform. We love racing it, we love trail riding it. It is so versatile. But the one thing that we really struggle with is the suspension. Yeah, so if you remember our video from TKO last year, it was really rough. What are you saying over here? It's the hardest thing I've ever done. We thought last year was hard. That pro course is ridiculous because it's like muddy rocks the whole time. And you just, once you get stuck, you're so gassed, you just, you can't keep going. You were out there for almost two hours. Oh my God. It was that long, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bike climbed and performed extremely well, but throughout the race, the suspension kind of started falling apart in the way that it felt. It got progressively stiffer. It wasn't very compliant. So Brett, DJ, myself, by the end of the race, we were kind of just ready to be done. 
because wrists hurt, elbows, shoulders, neck, not to mention that fork kept deflecting. We had to get off of our bike, we had to turn our handlebars back straight. It's a great bike for casual trail riders, for racing and taking it to that next level, it needs better suspension. At Charge Cycle Works, we're always pushing the industry to adopt all the great technology and great ideas that have already been developed in the gas world over the past 50 plus years. Which is why we're so excited that Cirrus has jumped in and actually brought all that technology to the electric motorcycle market. And one of the things I'm excited about the most is the versatility of this suspension. There's a fantastic trail tune that I think 90% of Ultra B riders are going to absolutely love. And then there's a bespoke built track tune that is incredible for those hard chargers that want to go and put in lap after lap. If you're interested in learning more about a track tune, stay tuned for our next video where Brett will travel to France with Cirrus and the EBMX race team to develop the tune for the FIM Explorer race series. So while Brett and other racing professionals have been completing that race spec tune, we've been trail riding and more recently are developing a hard enduro spec leading right into the Red Bull TKO. So the point is from track to trail to even hard enduro TKO style, this suspension is capable of all forms of discipline. So let's jump into the specs. We've already mentioned that it's a 43 mil fork. It has 246 millimeters of travel in either a track or a trail tune, but there's also a third option, which is the slightly increased 260 millimeter travel for the EBMX race spec. So it's important to note on that EBMX version, that even though it has a little extra travel, the overall fork length is the same, so your geometry does not change and slacken out the bike. So one of the biggest differences in between the Cirrus spec and the EBMX tune is EBMX was built for a bigger, heavier race bike with an upgraded battery, upgraded motor. It was built to handle that additional weight. If you don't have a bike modified to that level, you likely will not want to go with the EBMX version. The fork has 25 millimeters of offset, which retains that important steering radius. This fork is a closed cartridge design, which is only seen in high-end suspension in the mountain bike and the motocross world. With compression and rebound adjustment, you can use the clickers to dial in the suspension exactly how you want. Okay, so we've talked about the fork, but we can't forget about the rear shock. This thing is massive compared to the OEM part that you're gonna take off. The reason this shock is so massive is they've made the body as large as they can to put as much oil as they can into this system to reduce the heat buildup in this shock, which is what causes the fade in the OEM shock. And another reason for it is by putting a larger valve inside of this body, they're able to control the oil flow through that valve and have more precise uh, characteristics on how this shock performs. The shock adds both high and low speed compression as well as a rebound adjustment so that you can fine tune it the way that you want. So with quality suspension like this, it was built to last the lifetime of your bike because it was actually designed to be serviceable. So companies like Charge Cycle Works can easily open up your suspension we can tune it, we can clean it, we can service your seals and put it all back together. And we can do that over and over and over again to last your full lifetime of the bike. I know by now you guys are probably dying to know the price. So Cirrus put together this package to be purchased together for $32.50. Wait a second. You're telling me for less than the price of a KTM fork upgrade, I can have both of these? Man, take my credit card. <laughs> Although you can purchase these individually, Cirrus has designed these to pressure match the front and rear balance of your bike together as a set. So Cirrus suspension is launching this fall. For more information, head over to chargecycleworks.com or click on the links below. We've been riding this suspension for months. Now we can't wait to get it into your hands to hear what you think about it.